Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 14 and in this video I'm going to give you a tour of the theme files. Okay then gang, so I'm back here in brackets now and all this is the code that we made for our resto design. And the idea is that we're going to turn this code into a fully fledged WordPress theme, yeah? But for now, what I want to do is give you a quick tour of the blank theme files that we installed and show you what everything does basically. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go to File, Open Folder. And I'm going to go to the C drive, WAMP, and then www, WP Content, Themes, and then our theme, which is Resto. Select that folder and it's going to open up all the folders and files right here. So, before I start... WordPress works in a very modular way, and by that I mean it's got different files for different pages or even different parts of your template. For example, this homepage of our website, our WordPress website, which doesn't look like much for now by the way because of that blank theme, this homepage is being loaded by the index.php file by default in WordPress. Okay, so if we open this up, uh, index, where is it, .php, right there. This is the file that's loading up this over here, right? The home page. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, the first thing it does is write out this function called get header. And this is a WordPress function. And what it's doing is calling a specific template part. And that template part is the header. This one right here, header.php. So if I open that up, you can see basically it's just a doc type, HTML tag, the head tag, uh, the opening body tag with some dynamic classes added in. Uh, then we've got all this stuff right here, which is the header and then the navigation. This is all dynamic content loaded in by WordPress. And we'll go through this a bit more later on. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the nav and then this div with an ID of content. So all of this right here in the header.php file is being loaded in whenever this get header function is called. Okay, so on the index.php file, it's all getting loaded in at the top right there. And also on any other template file, such as single or page, which control different pages on here, it's going to get loaded in at the top. So anything in here will pretty much be at the top of any page on your website, okay, by default. So that's one part of the index file. Then we've got this div and main tag. We've got some dynamic content here that's loading in the page title. And then we've got this dynamic content, which is called the loop. Okay, now the loop is a very deep and important part or aspect of WordPress. It's at the heart of it. And I'm not going to talk too much about it now, but I am going to do that in the next tutorial probably. All you need to know for now is that this loop is grabbing the dynamic content that we enter in the back end and it's bringing it back out and displaying it on the page here. Okay, so that's grabbing the content. That's the job of the loop to grab the dynamic content. So that's what it's doing right there. And then underneath here, we've got the closing main. Then we've got another WordPress function called get sidebar. And this is calling another template part. And that part is called sidebar.php, right here. So it's just a simple file which is going to load in some widgets. We've got a dynamic sidebar area. And I'm going to talk about this later on when we come to looking at widgets. You don't need to know too much about it for now. All you need to know is that that part in the index file is grabbing this sidebar.php file and dumping it here. Same for the footer. Get footer is calling the footer.php, grabbing all of this stuff here, and it's putting it at the bottom of the index file. All right, so what else do we have? Well, this is the front page and it's being loaded by the index.php file. But if we go to a post, hello world, and look at this page, this is no longer being controlled by the index.php file. This is being controlled by the single.php file. It's a post and posts are typically loaded in by the single.php template file, okay? It's similar to the index.php file in that it's got the header, it's got the loop right here in the middle, and it's got the sidebar and the footer. The only difference is really that it's got this part here, which is loading in the comments, right, to that post. So you can see it's got a function called comments template, and that is grabbing another template part called comments.php, which is all this dynamic stuff right here. And we're not going to 
delve too deeply into it like I say. All you need to know is it's grabbing all of this stuff right here which is dynamically checking for comments on that particular post and then loading them in under the post itself, right? So we also have uh, template files for different types of pages. So we've seen one for the post page which is single.php and then the home page which is index.php. We also have one for the 404 page. So if someone types in a URL uh, like hello worlds which doesn't exist then they're going to get this 404 page which is controlled by this right here which again has the header it has the footer it doesn't have the sidebar but then it's got all this kind of dynamic content in the middle it's got a search form uh, it's got the widget area blah 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 a lot of stuff there which we'll talk about maybe a little bit more later on uh, we also have the page.php file and this is going to control all static pages on your file and remember static pages are different from posts when we took a tour of the WordPress backend we had two content types really we had the posts which was for blogs or news items and things like that then we had the static page content which was for more permanent features on your website like an about us page so things like that would be controlled by the page.php file by default in WordPress so again, we've got the header, we've got the sidebar, the footer, the loop in the middle, all the generic kind of stuff. Uh, we've also got the search.php file, which controls the page when someone searches for something. If I put in hello and search, this search results page is controlled by this file. Again, we've got the header, uh, we've got the dynamic content in the middle, then the sidebar and the footer. Um, and finally, I will show you the archive php template file which again has got the header it's got the sidebar and the footer and then all this kind of dynamic content with the loop in the middle which is putting the content onto the page and an archive is just for something like this november 2015 it's going to grab all the posts that i posted in that period in november 2015 okay so we can also add uh, more template files in our cells for specific content pages. For example, say we make a page that is really specific on the website and we don't want it to have the same template as all the other pages, which is controlled by this uh, page.php file right here, right? We don't want it to have the same template. We can override that and make a new template file in here, which is going to work just for that page. And we can do one just for the front page and other things as well. So basically, we have a lot of control when it comes to deciding which template files are going to be used for our different pages. And the modular fashion by which WordPress runs makes it really easy to do. So if all of this seems a little bit overwhelming for now, don't worry, guys. I will be going step by step through each part in more detail as we start making our theme. And I'm going to start in the very next lesson when I'm going to explain exactly what this part of the codes, the, um, the loop, um, is all about. OK, so I'm going to go into detail about that. If you have any questions about this tutorial, then please feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in that very next one.